when it's a female wearing casual clothing. So the males go up, the males who are being tested go up from being tested by a male versus tested by a female, but they go up particularly substantially when it's a female wearing casual clothing. And that's what an interaction is. It's when you have to say that there's an effect of some th an independent variable on a dependent variable, and the magnitude of that effect depends on a second independent variable. So in this case, the magnitude of uh, gender on the, independent, on the dependent variable of memory depends on what kind of clothes they're wearing. Let's look at the uh, second chart. So we've got males and females here. This is the first one, just, and we have the type of clothing they're wearing. I don't know if I like this chart the best. Let's look at it this way. And let me just clean this up a bit. And I'll put this blue line as a... Because I, I can't tell if you will be able to tell if this is a blue line or not. But let me make it a broken up line. Okay, so now we've got... We've got the type of clothes here, and if you remember the means, the lab coat didn't do much for these males, unless she, uh, there was a female wearing it, but we do know, just looking at the means, that this should be lab coat. And so I'd actually change that here, lab coat, and put here casual clothing. Done. And so to me, whether you're wearing a lab coat or casual clothes, it looks like there is an increase in memory performance. So it looks like the males perform better whether uh, it's a male or a female wearing casual clothes. But I don't know yet whether this is actually statistically significant from here to here. I need to test that. I just want to explain the interaction first. Here we have a lab coat from casual clothes when it's a female presenter. And look at how the males skyrocket. They go lab coat, they're impressed, they want to impress the female, and then when she's when it's a different attractive female, equally attractive female, wearing casual clothes, then it skyrockets. So there's an effect of the type of clothes that the presenter is wearing on memory performance, yes, but it depends on what type of, uh, it depends on the gender of the presenter in terms of the magnitude of the effect. So there's an interaction, and the interaction is there is an effect of type of clothes, but it's particularly accentuated in females when it's a female presenter on these males. So you'd have the option of trying to tell the story either in this chart or in this chart, and uh, they're basically they are in effect representing identical effects, uh, but it's a different it's a slightly different way of telling the story. That's up to you now. Can I interpret the main effects in this context? These main effects are interesting. And you might read in many texts, textbooks that you can interpret main effects when there's a significant interaction. And I'm not a subscriber of that philosophy, and I'll tell you why. It's because in this case, I'm pretty convinced that the females, as a group, are actually uh, having a bigger impact on memory than when the males are being used as presenters. And I want to be able to say that. I want to be able to say, when you have a female administering a test, males score higher on a memory test than when there are males presenting the test. And it doesn't matter what kind of clothes they're wearing. It's just true across all types of clothes. And if I can prove that that's true statistically significantly across all types of clothes, then I, I have a justification for interpreting the main effect because then I can say female presenters are, are having an effect on memory performance in the males above and beyond uh, males and it doesn't matter what kind of clothes they're wearing. That's what a main effect is. Main effect is true across all levels of the conditions in the other independent variable. So how can I test that? Well, I can just do a couple of paired sample C te T tests. I could say, I could compare uh, males uh, wearing a lab, the male wearing a lab coat 
versus the female wearing a lab coat? Do, does the female score st 